The risen Jesus is always the bringer of consolation. Consolation in this sense is not simply comfort. It's an intense experience of peace, of joy, of hope, and of new courage. In every resurrection story, Jesus engages with one or more of his followers to help them to find consolation after the devastation of the passion and death. The disciples had lost their way of life overnight. Their friend and teacher, the one they had thought would bring salvation, had been brutally executed. They had locked themselves away, afraid perhaps to go out even to get food in case they might be linked with Jesus and arrested. Into this group, huddled behind closed doors, fearful for their physical safety, Jesus brings a message of peace. Jesus comes in through the closed doors of our fear too. At this time of pandemic, when we live in fear for our physical safety and the safety of those we love, we need to hear the words he repeats three times in this gospel. He says, peace be with you. We have also had our way of life completely disrupted. At times when case numbers have soared, we have been locked behind closed doors, afraid of a virus that could hurt us or those we love. Jesus has already explained that the peace that he brings is a peace that goes far, far beyond the ordinary peace of the world. His peace allows us to feel securely anchored in love, even in the very worst of the storms of life. When we experience terror or anxiety or feel overwhelmed by grief, we too can enter into the story. When we feel locked in our own upper room, we can become aware of the presence of Jesus in the room, see his face, hear the tone of his voice as he says to us, peace be with you. Let's ponder, where do you feel a lack of peace in your life at the moment? And where do you need to experience the peace of the risen Lord and hear him say to you, peace be with you?